What's up guys, we're back for another episode of Demon Slayer where this board guy seems to be a survivor of the final selection, which I don't remember though. But he is straight up crazy. He is willing to beat up and possibly kill Zenitsu, another human being, just so he could destroy the box that contains Nezuko. I mean, we see that this guy seems to enjoy slicing people up and demons, so he doesn't even care if he has to kill a demon or a human seems like he'll do it anyways i mean even his blades they're kind of designed to like rip flesh that i think he said something like that so yeah he's on some shit so tanjiro after doing everything he can to you know save the kids and to escape the house and destroy the demon he walks out and he's seeing this stupid boar guy just straight up beat up his friend and saying that he's gonna basically murder your sister so tanjiro is pissed he was really hurt because of the broken bones and the fight he just had. But it's like he doesn't even matter anymore, man. He probably is filled with adrenaline. Gives no shits. He's ready to attack, so I can't wait to see what's about to happen. So let's get right into the episode. Dang, this mission seems a little bit tricky. I mean, there's going to be five demons. And it seems like they got these little ass spiders controlling everybody. Those first demon slayers they sent, I mean, how could they be so useless? What? Like, Tanjiro and Inosuke figured out the whole threat thing pretty easily. They were able to dodge all of the attacks of the people being controlled. They even ended up pinpointing the exact location of the mother. So you're telling me all those like 10 other demon slayer they sent couldn't do shit? I guess that just shows that Tanjiro and Zenitsu and Inosuke are pretty strong for their level. Hey, I'll bet if they finish this mission, they might even get promoted to whatever it is that the next tier of the demon slayer is. But this force could be super dangerous because we saw the the owners of the Demon Slayer corpse say that they could possibly find the 12 demon moons there. And then behind them, behind the owners, so like the top of the class guys, was Giyu and another Demon Slayer. So you're telling me those two are like, they're probably like the highest rank, like rank one. Who would have thought that Giyu was actually so strong? I wonder what they're gonna think if Tanjiro and Inosuke and even Zenitsu, cause he is on the way. What they're gonna think if those three are able to defeat the spider demons that are in this forest. One guy was saying that they're a family. So they're a family of demons who use the blood demon art to control spiders. Yeah, every demon we see just does something different, don't they? <laughs> hey, maybe the mother is part of the 12 demon moves. You never know. But I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. So I'll see you guys in the next episode and I hope you guys stick around.